Good evening. It is Tuesday evening, January 29th at 1831 Tuesday evening. I still have a very busy night ahead of me. I've got a lot of things going on right now. Um, a lot to post on Facebook. But I wanted to take a couple of minutes and make this video and bring everybody up to date. Let me talk about the last 24 hours. Yesterday, you might remember that I had was making plans to camp out last night. Well, as the good Lord always does, he stepped in and intervened. When I was walking to the Georgia line, a gentleman by the name of Brad, who spotted me on the road, was curious to what I was doing. So he pulled over, was speaking to me and my friend Bruce, and he immediately opened his home to me. Now, he lives in Jennings, Florida, which means I had to kind of backtrack to his house last night, but it was sure better than having to sleep outside. I actually discovered, and you couldn't see this on Google Maps when I researched it for a place to camp out, but the area that I had chosen to camp out in was actually a swamp. And you couldn't see it from the Google Maps. So thank you, Lord, for bringing Brad and his wife into my life. I slept very comfortably last night. They have a phenomenal home in Jennings. Now, not only did they come forward and donate that van that I've been talking about for the last couple of hours, but his wife, Sonny, is a professional tattoo artist and she sponsored a brand new tattoo related to my walk that I will share with you either later on tonight or tomorrow. So that was a huge blessing. I also put on Facebook that I was looking for somebody who might know someone willing to sponsor their time or donate their services to tune up, oil change, and put a lot of TLC in the van and somebody came forward. I'm not going to mention the name yet because it's still in the works, but it looks like it's going to be a, a sure thing. So the good Lord just keeps continuing showing me blessing after blessing after blessing. Now, um, I'm currently in Lake Park, Georgia. I'm, yeah, Georgia. Um, I did not walk today because I spent a long time in the tattoo chair. So that took up most of my day. Yesterday, I had actually walked past the Georgia line into Lake Park, which is where I'm at. Um, a friend of mine that I met in Lake Park sponsored a motel room for me here in Lake Park. So that was another blessing. I will not walk tomorrow because I've been invited to do a speaking engagement here in Lake Park, which I'll, I'll share with you after it occurs. It's a big surprise. It was a great blessing. Hmm, excuse me. So the last 24, the last 48 hours has been incredible. God is good. Excuse me. Um, so, again, about you know about the van, the tattoo, the speaking engagement. Look, I want to take a moment and not forget that all of you are responsible for all the blessings that come to me on this walk. Yes, I know the good Lord, and I believe the good Lord has his hands in everything that I do out here. He guides every single step that I take. And without him at the helm of my vessel on this walk, I would crash every day. But besides that, it's all of you that cross my path that help me, like Brad and Sonny, and the many, many, many people that I've met on this walk over the last 14 months. We still have a good few years before this walk is over. I'm not going to race to get this walk done. 
I'm not in a sprint. This is a marathon. If it takes me 15 years to do it, then it takes me 15 years. I'm not going by anybody else's schedule, but God's and what my body tells me. But I know that not one single step I take would mean anything if not for all of you. And I owe you all so very much. I love you all. I do want to ask a small favor. For those of you in the Georgia, in Georgia, my route will take me, and I'm doing this by memory, to Valdosta on Thursday, then I believe it's Albany, Columbus, Warner Robins, Macon, Atlanta, Dalton, then Nashville. And there's, there's a bunch of stops between those places, but if you know anyone who lives in Georgia, especially around Atlanta, I would love for everyone that can to join me as I walk to the steps of the Capitol in Atlanta. I should be there estimating about six to eight weeks. I know that I won't be there at the end of February, so probably sometime in March. But if you know anyone that lives in or near Atlanta, please have them contact me because I would love a large group of us with American flags, showing patriotic support, walking up to the steps of the Capitol. Well, let me go ahead and shut down for now. I still have so much going on tonight. I will try my best to post um, stuff tonight. If I don't get to you tonight, I'll do it tomorrow. Thank you all for your blessings. Thank you for your continued support. I love you all so very, very much. I love what I'm doing, and all of you have a big part of my heart. As always, to my daughter Katie, mwah, Daddy loves you very much. To my sister Sunshine, thank you for your support. To my, my brother, to my niece Rosa, to all my family members and all my friends, I couldn't do this without you. So until next time, Semper Fi.